Um, a lot of people have been asking me how to do this, <clears throat> so, um, I don't know, I'm gonna draw, like, a really, really basic person really quick, and just show you how to do, like, something like a mob, or something, really easily. Whatever. So it's just gonna... Yeah. There are shortcuts, like O, picks your color, P on your keyboard, puts it back to the pencil. It tells you literally right over here if you didn't want to. Um. No, just... It's Mohawk. Okay. <laughs> this is... Oh. <clears throat> oh, jeez. It's Mohawk. Okay, so what I do to do this, and there might be an easier way, is that uh, I'm gonna duplicate this so that you have two. And then you're gonna take this rectangle. Oops, it's on the wrong layer. Oops. <clears throat> Go on to this top layer. Um, rectangle. To a boat. You know, boat here, whatever. Can even move it up a bit. I'll do it right here for now. Um, I hit Control C to copy it. Come here, hit Control V. And then drag it down. <clears throat> so you'll see that it's like overlaid. So this is the, the terrible part about um, trying to do this. Hit Control V again. And you can see here it's previewing, so that helps. Um, and I just delete all the extra little bits. It's all of them, I think. So there you have a, like a little oops, cute little bob. You can change the FPS. I usually have to vote three because it's double two. I have it at two. But yeah, that's how you do like a little bob. And then if you add other things like a like a, like a heart or something, I'd always start on the first frame and then. And whatever. And then you can see that, that preview helps a lot. That's why I like this site so much. Because it's, uh, this site is. So, this skull, whatever. But, uh, and then if you want the, the heart to bob, you'd have to just, whatever. And it's. Actually, you could do it like this to make it easier on what I'm doing. I'm not awake. I'm just do C, Control V, down. Yeah, there you go. It has a little bob. You could move it up or down or whatever. Like, it can get more complex as you go, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's just really basic. When you go to save this, or you might want to do it beforehand, and I should mention this to a lot of people because I know that's going to confuse them, um, you should probably, well, to export it, this is what you'll need. I mean, you can save it if you have, like, a, a site or something, and, like, you can save it as, like, like that, and you could be able to, uh, reopen it later, which is really cool, but, um, what... What's important here is that if I just showed you what this looks like right now, is that it'll be like about this size, and you don't want that. I usually do about about 128, and then you can see it's a little bit bigger. You know, the, do multiples of eight, or else it's not in like an 8-bit pixel, and I actually don't know what that looks like, but... Actually, hang on, let me try something. Oops. 
I don't know if this actually, it doesn't distort it, but then it doesn't make it, like, you can't say, oh, well, this is an 8-bit pixel, or it's 233 by 233, that's not a multiple of 8, so, um, and then you'll just, you know, make sure it's, like, the size you want, and I don't know if you want it, like, affected any, I wonder. Oh, okay. Yes, it's going to be huge. Yeah, see? So it's like whatever size you want it to be. Um, and then you'll just download the GIF and have it, or if you really wanted, you could just right click, and if you're just going to post on a thing, then you can use it as like a picture URL. So, uh, yeah, that's just quickly explaining that, so, you know, if you have any more questions, you can ask me. This is just to change the background to make it easier to see or whatever. Grids. Oh, cool. Um. Don't mess with that stuff. That's if you want to resize the whole canvas and start from big. Like, don't make it. This is just the 32. You can make. You could start at the 128. I don't recommend it because it's harder to build like pixel like little pixel art. I mean if you're doing little details, yeah. It wouldn't be better. I wouldn't mess with this after you've made something. That's just saving it and that's opening it and that, that's this is the page deal. I don't mess with this stuff either. But yeah. Alright. I hope that explains that.